So how much potential uh, does the market see in the future of Rotorcraft? You know, it's a pretty good market. You, you just have to sort of get past what happened in the past five, six, seven years. I mean, there was such a huge ramp up when you've got something like 50, 60 percent growth because of the surge in Iraq and Afghanistan and of course the burnout of existing fleets. When you remove that as an anomaly, this is a long-term growth market. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there is the experience of building down from that massive upsurge and that, that of course uh, means that people have to shrink a bit and the industry might have to shrink a bit. But in terms of long-term growth expectations, uh, excellent. This is not a market with systems that need to be or can be replaced by some disruptive technology. The Scout mission might be an exception to that, but everything else, what you see is what you get in terms of requirements. Mm -hmm. So I actually feel pretty good about this. And if you look at the rather ecumenical nature of uh, requirements worldwide, we do a really good job of meeting market needs. Uh, this is a, it's not like the fighter market where there are too many players vying for the top end. There are only like six or seven export customers who ever sign for a big twin engine fighter and there are so many trying to sell a big twin engine fighter. Here you have a bunch of folks who are selling, say, squad lifters, attack helicopters, naval ASW, what have you, and a very eager, very broad-based market of about 40 countries or more that wish to buy those products. This is a pretty good functioning market. Thank you so much for this interview. Pleasure. Thank you.